Okay, attempt number two to get some footage. Dual mics, okay. I'm gonna take this uh, same route I took. This time we're gonna have a little bit more success, I'm hoping. We're gonna get us a freeway check too, man. Man, I did the I did the best motor vlog ever, and none of it got recorded because of this stupid whole setup. I don't I don't know. Connectors suck. make some noise anyway we're gonna stop somewhere we're gonna check and make sure this mic is working we're gonna hear this stuff we're gonna hear it we're gonna hear it good well we're gonna see what we sound like at 35 because 35 really shouldn't affect much of this wind noise but hopefully you're gonna hear me a whole lot better than man that footage got hit that went everywhere too we we had a guy out there at Fort Monroe hollering for help for his life because he was out on a, on a kayak, wasn't sure if he could make it back in. He was scared, man. He panicked, you know. A little bit of that footage I can just add to this here run. So, you don't see certain things connect up. I'm sure you don't look that closely, but hey, I got to be honest about it. Got to be honest. Uh-huh. Honesty is the best policy, they say. So when we get up to Fort Monroe, hopefully we'll stop and we'll check our footage. We'll check our sound, make sure we got the sound. Sound is a pound. I just know it's going to sound so good when I mix the mic that I have. I have another purple panda hooked up to this camera here, which hopefully is working well. And uh, it's going down to the tank here, underneath my seat, and back by the shot, and near my short shot pipe. So we ought to get a good mix of that without all the wind sound that comes along with it when you just have it sitting up there with that one. I will find out. That'd be cool. Yeah, we'll get on to Fort Monroe up here, not too much farther. And uh, I'm going up to that Chamberlain again. I was supposed to check my footage back. I, don't, I just know it's got to be working. So we're going to hope that it works. But it definitely has to be checked because I have to have something so we can blend it with this wonderful exhaust that I have. The Vance and Hines, the short shot pipes. It does make this sound incredible, this bike. I ride it like a maniac a lot. Make that exhaust do more and challenge your thing. And Breath matching, you know, and making it sound as good as I can. It's a lot of fun. Got the marina and the dead rise coming up. This is where all the excitement happened. And the uh, Chamberlain's up front there. Big building. It might come into view. Dude, uh, oh, that thing looks like it was wanting to sink almost. But over here somewhere, it's a bed rise. 
Where you see my daily commute. Alright, that's what I go underneath every day. And I go to work anyway across all that water and then right over to there, I think. Or wait. No, over there. Yeah, that's where that whole tunnel goes. Over there, that is the front of the peninsula, right over there. It's amazing, man. It's a beautiful day, man. Every day is a beautiful day. Hey. My other mic is a piece of styrofoam, foam rubber in there. I quit saying styrofoam, and I gotta explain myself. Well, it works good. Got a battery pack back here, and we all hooked up. This is how we do the front and keep the battery right in here. Thing for the mic. The mic is run down here. comes to the back and it's hidden right there. Like there's there's the exhaust. There's the mic. So you know we're gonna have some cool cool sound, cool effects. It's gotta be cool. Alright, sun's going down. I'm gonna leave this spot. Oh the Wonderful excitement happened. Yeah, dude was out here. Out here in that turbulent water. Crazy. Hey, this guy out here is uh, needing help. Hope he gets some rest and can get in. Broken pier, almost even with that. Yep. Far corner of the Chamberlain no, parking away, lot. Away from the bridge tunnel. He was at near the bridge tunnel when we were first spotted him. And he's, he's not too far off. Yeah, shore, he about like. He definitely said he needs help. 40 yards, maybe. How many yards? About 40 yards, about maybe. 40 yards, as another gentleman just said. About 40 yards offshore, off the, away from the. Um, seawall that goes behind the Chamberlain along all along Fort Monroe that part of it. Yeah he's trying to uh, use his oar to move but it's not really he's not getting anywhere. He might make it to these broken piers but he's actually uh, just getting closer to where the Chamberlain actually is. Yeah, I think he'll make it. Hold on to that, so he'll be yeah. Until they come get it. Yeah, I don't know if he wanted to try to get his stuff up here and just start hauling it across, or just stay safe, or what is? Yeah, but I don't know if he can get Your up. From there. Life is good if you need it to be saved, but bad they're gonna probably charge us. <laughs> charge him too. The dead rise, I think. Yeah, we're 
guy, at least he made it up there, he was struggling. hollering he was out there in the wind and the current and didn't know if he was going to make it and he got panicked and uh he was getting tired of course okay and uh he finally made it over here so i know well you know it'd be terrible to get blowed on out there and it's too windy nobody it is to be out on that yeah it is it is you know when fishing calls man yeah yeah i'm glad Here the undercurrents are so hard. Yeah, yeah. I don't care how good of a swimmer you are. Yeah. It'll it, it pull you right on. Is everything okay? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. He was out there and hollering for help because you know current and wind, and he was a little scared and panicked and getting oh. tired, and so we called oh. for him. Or the lady did. She's gone now, but she called 911 for him and make sure he's gonna be all right. So. But after he got up here, he's like, I'm good, man. Okay. I'm good. But he's like, you know, say, I know you're. You gotta be tired. Yeah, yeah. Y'all good? Thanks, okay. Thanks a lot. Oh yeah. Glad you're here, man. At the fire department now. Yeah, you never know why you're uh, led to be brought out to a place. All right, wish me luck. I really need it when it comes to these GoPros. It is Sunday, October 1st, in case you were wondering. We gotta throw that in. Probably around 5 o'clock. Hour 2 before the sun is set. Now, you can see backed up traffic over there on the bridge. Trying to get over to uh, Norfolk. That's my traffic. That's what I get into all the time. I, I should have went the other way. Then closer to get on to the freeway. I never know what I'm doing. I'd be messing up. I'm sure to get to go for another little longer ride. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, that's the fine, but for whatever reason, it's the exact reason they're doing it. And try to luck out on the freeway. Oh, please work this time. Just let me have it all be working. Assholes. They cut you off so sharp. This is your motorcycle. They'll get right in your lane. They were, they were in my lane back there. But according to some of the reels I put out there, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm entitled. I have an entitlement out here. Yeah, I know. I've got some resentment, man, in some of that. I made some reels recently that uh, basically fuck people's nerves. And get so many horrible comments, they're just crazy. You know, I don't uh, put all the, uh, the whole story on the reel because it's too short to put everything so that you can show exactly, you know, what happened. But it always gets turned around on me. I just think people are miserable. 
I heard some of the devil, you know, defend me in there, and I don't need that, but I'm just saying it's nice. People know. When you ride a motorcycle, we have to be extra careful, and your average person commenting on there probably isn't a motorcycle rider. Sure, there are some that, that are, but they might have a different mindset. Look at all that traffic over there. Woo! That was not why I'd be going that way. Not at all. Like, you don't want to be going this way here. Sounds so good in through there. That's why I wanted that microphone back there. See if you can hear it good. Did you hear that? She was cooking out here, man. She was cooking. Yeah, that's when you know I'm coming. My throttle just, my throttle cable just cut out. Is that crazy? I got no throttle. Hope we can make it up here.
That's not good. All right, we're gonna cut this stuff off. I was going along and I was going along and all of a sudden, nothing. Yeah, you know what that led to. Stranded.